the main highway connecting the processor, main memory, and input output controllers. It is made up of data bus and an address bus and a control bus. The control bus is used by the CPU to direct and monitor the actions of the other functional areas of the computer. It is used to transmit a variety of individual signals necessary to control and coordinate the operations of the computer. The individual signals transmitted over the control bus and their functions are covered in the appropriate functional area description. The address bus consists of all signals necessary to define any of the possible memory address locations within the computer, or for modular memories, any of the possible memory address locations within a module. An address is defined as a label, symbol, or other set of characters used to designate a location or register where information is stored. Before data or instructions can be written into or read from memory by the CPU or input output sections, an address must be transmitted to memory over the address bus. This is the RAM. To put a certain value into the certain part of the RAM, which is assigned to it, you have to use these wires which cancel the binary to first it in. So this is value 12, and the binary is, zero, is 1100, zero, zero. and so it put the value in that one. The bidirectional data bus, sometimes called the memory bus, handles the transfer of all data and instructions from the function areas of the computer. The bidirectional data bus can only transmit in one direction at a time. The data bus is used to transfer instructions from memory to the CPU for execution. It carries data to and from the CPU and memories as required by instruction translation. The data bus is also used to transfer data between memory and the input-output section during input-output operations. The information on the data bus is either written into or alpha. Or alpha. The control bus goes both ways in the CPU, the mem and also goes both ways in the memory to the control bus, and also travels both ways in between the input and output. The address bus only receives information from the CPU and only gives memory gives um, information to the memory and travels both ways in between the input, output, and the address bus. The data bus travels both ways in between the CPU, travels both ways in between the memory and the data bus, and also travels both ways in between the data bus and the input and output.